Okay, first I want to show what a quadrature encoder looks like. So I have these two phototransistors here, which are going to be detecting the slots in this wheel. And there's a light shining through the wheel, which will give us a signal on the phototransistors. And I'm going to show what the signal looks like on the oscilloscope up here. But let's start the wheel running first. So that's what the wheel looks like when it's running. And we need to turn power on to the light. There we have light shining on it. And there are some signals on the scope. Okay, so what we have on the scope, on the green trace, we have one of the sensors and on the yellow trace, the other sensor. And you can notice that they're out of phase. The green trace rises before the yellow one and it falls before the yellow one. Uh, up here is the clock recovery, which is just saying when they're both in the off state here, we get a clock pulse. But that's quadrature encoding, and it means that we can tell the direction of the wheel by which edge is going high first. So if we reverse the motor, we should get the yellow trace going high first. And that's what happened. So the yellow trace is now leading the green trace. So this, the uh, state of these two signals, there's four states. One is where they're both off. One is where only the yellow one is on. One is where the green and the yellow are both on at the same time. And one is where the yellow is off and the green is on. And that acts two-bit binary code. It looks like a gray code count where only one bit can transition at a time so it's they never transition at the same time just uh, the yellow one precedes the green one in both cases here now these two signals are pretty ratty because those uh, phototransistors aren't very good there are no resistors on them the resistors are just actually pull-ups in the uh, PSOC device here so that's an interesting way to do it because we don't need any resistors at the phototransistors. It's just two transistors uh, connected up directly to the pins here. But you can see that the, the pulse does get uh, squared up nicely once we've uh, got it into the digital logic of, this, of the, uh, the MCU here. Okay, so this is the circuit that I have. We've got a USB power supply coming in, so this whole thing is running off 5 volts. These PSOC modules are quite flexible. They can run off anywhere between 1.8 volts and 5 volts. Over here I have a 7 segment LED uh, number display. Uh, it's connected just with these 1K resistors to some pins on the, uh, the computer module. Over here we have two more uh, LEDs which are connected to um, the clock up and the clock down because I'm going to be counting the number of slots that go by on this wheel. As we have these two phototransistors behind the wheel here which are monitoring the, the slots so both have outputs going to two pins on this module as well. This LED is just illuminating those phototransistors to turn them on and off when they're blocked or not blocked. So these four LEDs are showing a count of how many slots go by. And it's an up-down counter, so if I rotate one way, I'll count up, and if I rotate the other way, I'll count down. So the two pins that are connected to the phototransistor are doing a quadrature decoding activity so that we will only count in one direction 
um, as long as the wheel is only going in one direction. So inside this chip, we have a quadrature decoder. We have a, a counter, a 4-bit counter, which is actually hooked up as a BCD counter, binary coded decimal. And we have a binary coded decimal to 7-segment decoder as well, which is driving these, the LED here. So all of these uh, functions are implemented strictly with logic. There's no software running at all on this uh, MCU. So let's turn it on and see what that looks like. Okay, it's on now and we have zero corresponding to none of the binary count being on. And if I rotate the wheel, It's counting up already, so it's got one count, and of course this is a binary counter, so that's the least significant bit is on. So here it is with uh, a two. The second bit is lit on the counter. If we spin it some more, we get to three, which is a binary three over here. And we get to 4, which is, of course, a binary 4. And there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if we go backwards, we go back to 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and zero. So it's all working just great. Um, I will talk a lot more about the actual um, quadrature decoder in uh, another segment. But it's a pretty clean layout, and uh, and it works well. Yeah.